In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create a nice lace pattern material in minutes. Let's build this lace pattern material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. This example contains multiple materials, which are blended together. The patterns are simple images with an alpha channel. You can design them with Illustrator or Designer for example. Choose the base structure image from the project files and drag and drop it into the layer stack. In the new opened window we choose image to material B2M and deactivate add a base material. This filter creates all the maps for you. We just invert the height and decrease the medium height details. While we edit, we should rename the material and save the project. I recommend doing this from time to time. Now we take the channel switch filter to map the AO onto the base color. Let's change the input to AO with an opacity of 0.7 to get the white base color. Then we use a pattern filter for structure adjustments. We switch it to checker with a high tile amount and further adjust the blur amount to make it less blurred. To give it a more normal structure we activate override pattern normal. Finally. We tile it with the transform filter by setting X and Y direction to 2. For the inner stitched rose pattern we have to make a new material by clicking on the plus button. Let's rename it too. Now we drag and drop the rose pattern image into the layer stack. In the new opened window we choose use as bitmap and check that add a base material is deactivated. To get the nice stitched structure we choose the embroidery filter. We change the count to 1 and switch to custom color. Let's further adjust the different scale parameters to get smaller stitches and less sharp emboss. Further we bring in more variation in placement of the stitches. Finally we tweak the height too. You can also prepare the transparent input image with multiple color areas if you would like to have more than one color. Now we blend both materials together. To do this we have to make another third new material and rename it. Then we drag and drop in first the rose pattern material and as a second one our base structure material. Adding two materials on top of each other blends them. This way you can combine multiple materials. To tweak the blending settings we click on the button behind the material preview. Let's adjust the offset to define the height of the material. As final filter we use a warp filter. It's great to add small deformation details. We change the type to warp and make the effect less intense. We choose purlin for smoother deformations and then tweak the scale. To check the result in different lighting conditions we can choose between several different environment lights till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use send to to send it directly to another substance app. Export it as SBSAR for other 3D apps and engines. Or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.